Hello traders, welcome back to Pips Trader YouTube channel. Thank you for your continuous support to my channel. I really appreciate your support. So today in this video, let us look at the price action in gold US dollar currency pairs from the 4 hours time frame to 15 minutes time frame and mark the current trend of the price action and present support and resistance level. So when we look at the economical events plan for today, today is Wednesday, March 29th. At 6 a.m. we have high impact news plan for Australian dollar related currency pairs. At 7.30 p.m. we have medium impact news for US dollar related currency pairs. Let us begin with our gold analysis. I'm in 4 hours time frame now and when we look at the current trend of the price action, we can clearly notice that it, it was in a very strong bullish trend and after testing the resistance level of 20.09, we have noticed a price action to trend on a sideways momentum it has not made a new highs or it has not crossed the previous high of 2010. So I am drawing a trend line to understand the current trend of the price action. So based on this trend line we can clearly notice that it has given a breakout over here and currently it is bouncing back to retest on this resistance line. So if the price action manages to break this resistance line it will be forming a double bottom pattern which means that we can expect it retrace to the previous high which is going to be around 2000 and when we look at the resistance level or the supply zone so this zone between 2000 to 2010 or 9 is going to be a strong supply zone for the current price action in 4 hours time frame so once the price action breaks this supply zone we can expect the bullish trend to continue in 4 hours time frame and if the price action fails to break this resistance line, we can expect a very side retracement to start, which means that next level of support is going to be around 1935. And once the price action breaks this support level of 1935, we can expect a very side retracement to start in 4 hours time frame. And also it will be forming a double top pattern. And we can expect it to retrace further in the 4 hours time frame. So the values in blue color are the support and resistance levels for the price action in 4 hours time frame. Currently the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1979 and support level of 1962. Once the price action breaks this resistance level of 1979, next level of resistance is going to be around 1993, 2009. 2028, 2054 and 2087 and if the price action bounces back from this resistance level of 1979 and breaks the support level of 1962, next level of support is going to be around 1935, 1910, 1887, 1855, 1812. So once this support level of 1935 is breached, we can expect a bearish side trend reversal to start in 4 hours time frame. Let us look at the price action in hourly time frame. I am in hourly time frame and when we look at the price action in hourly time frame, as explained in 4 hours time frame also, currently the price action is trying to form a double bottom pattern and it has bounced back on the bullish side retracement. So it has to break this resistance line from the 4 hours time frame in order to continue further on the bullish side retracement and if the price action manages to break this resistance line the next target is going to be the 4 hours time frame resistance level of 1997. The range between 2009 to 1999 is going to be a very strong resistance zone from the 4 hours time frame and as long as the price action is trading above this trend line or support line we can expect the bullish side trend to continue in hourly time frame and once the price action gives a breakout from this trend line we can expect the bearish side retracement to start in hourly time frame the values in green color boxes are the resistance level and the support levels for the current price action in hourly time frame currently it is trading between the resistance level of 1976 and support level of 1968 once the price action breaks is support level of 1968, next level of support is going to be around 1960, 1949 and 1934. 
and if the price action bridges this resistance level of 1976 next level of resistance it's going to be around 1985 and 1999 and when we look at the overall price action in hourly time frame it is trading on a sideways within this higher time frame resistance level of 1999 and support level of 1935 or 34 let us look at the price action in 30 minutes time frame I am in 30 minutes time frame now and we are noticing the price action to take support on the hourly time frame trend line or support line and to bounce back on the bullish side retracement and when we look at the overall price action in 30 minutes time frame it has formed a double bottom pattern and also it has retraced to the level of 1975 where previously we have noticed a price action to trend on the bearish side so according to the 30 minutes time frame it has already completed its retracement to the level where it started its bearish side retracement so we can expect the bearish side bounce back from this level of 1975 and if the price action bounces back the immediate support is going to be at 1969 1965 1961 1959 1957 and 1949 and on the bullish side if the price action bridges this resistance level of 1975 next level of resistance it's going to be around 1981 and it will be breaking this resistance line from the 4 hours time frame which means it will be starting a new bullish trend from this resistance level of 1981 please refer the higher time frame resistance levels for the bullish side targets 4 hours time frame trend line is going to decide whether the bullish trend is going to continue or whether it is going to give a bearish side bounce back from this resistance level let us mark the resistance and support levels for 15 minutes time frame i am in 15 minutes time frame and i am drawing a trend line or a resistance line for the 15 minutes time frame and based on this resistance line we can clearly notice that it has taken support on the hourly time frame trend line or the support line and went on the bullish side retracement again now it has tested this resistance line from the hourly time frame we can expect a bounce back on the bearish side retracement according to the past price action so if the retracement continues we can expect it to retest on this hourly time frame trend line or the support line once the price action gives a breakout from this hourly time frame support line we can expect a new bearish trend to start in 15 minutes time frame and if the price action gives a breakout from this 4 hours time frame trend line or the resistance line we can expect a fresh bullish trend to start in 15 minutes time frame the price action is trading between the resistance level of 1975 and support level of 1969 once this support level is breached next level of support is going to be around 1965 1962 1959 1955 and 1949 and if the price action bridges this resistance level of 1975 we can expect a new bullish side retracement to start and please refer the higher time frame resistance levels for the bullish side targets that's all the analysis for today thank you for watching this video if you have found this video to be useful press that like button and share this video with your friends